Yep. All right. All right, so it's Pittsburgh Music Mag here with the Butcher Babies. How's everybody doing? Hi. Good. Yeah, How are you? It's good. It's awesome yeah. to have you guys back in Pittsburgh. It's cool. Yeah, we're it's nice nice to, to be here. back. Yeah. Right. We're gonna walk to... around today. Okay, you got, nice. you got to do some stuff today at all? Or? Well, stuff. We had some lunch at the Tilted Kilt. Oval the girls there and uh, check, check out, out the, the stadium, stadium over yeah. here. Nice. <laughs> nice. Went to the mall. Went to the mall. Which mall did you get to get to? Parkway. Is that what Parkway. Uh, no, Parkway Robert, Robinson. Robinson. Yeah. Oh man, you're right in my backyard. Yeah. We were there. That was us throwing rocks at your window this yeah. morning. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's why my dogs, Get out of bed. dogs were going nuts. So believe me, I was out of bed. <laughs> um, so I just talked to you guys the other night, actually, and uh, I think you guys were in uh, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte? Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that so, is right. Hi. <laughs> how's that? How's that? Uh, the tour seems to be going great. Right? Yeah, going yeah, it's great. been it's yeah. been going awesome. really, really well. I mean. We're getting to connect with a really old school metal crowd and an old punk rock crowd, and we have elements of, of punk rock in our music and um, you know old school metal too. So it's it's really exciting. It's really exciting to have to you know see our our fans and then like I said, get some new fans on this tour as well. And let me tell you, it's I mean you can uh, we have so much fun every night. Usually when we're on tour, we don't watch the headlining band every night. I mean, this we'll tour, watch like a, you know yeah a lot, but times. not. But on this tour, we've been watching Danzig and Doyle every single night because it's so much fun. And at the last show um, it, at Shock Rock, in, <laughs> Heidi and I crowd surfed to the front during uh, Last Caress. It Glenn, was so Glenn fun. Danzig saw us. That's what happened. She's yeah. all, oh, so push your babies, coming yeah. over the crowd. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So much time. fun. After the jack That's starts cool. blowing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every night. Yeah, I was fun. wearing a tutu and, and a crop top, and um, tutu came Pictures. off. It was just booty shorts and a crop top, and I'm like, let's go crowd surf. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, wow. It was, yeah, it was fun, and luckily people were very respectful. Yeah. But yeah, we had a weird, when we started drinking. Yeah. <laughs> when we, we started, started drinking. <laughs> well, you know, the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you, <laughs> seem, you seem to balance that out. I, you uh, were working out with Doyle the other day, right? I was. Yeah, I how, was, was yeah. how intense was that? pretty fucking awesome. I mean, I, was, I mean, okay, so i I huge fan of him. and. Yeah. I, I saw his little, well, he's got these really cool little weights that he said he bought for Danzig, but Danzig doesn't use them. Um, so, but he, they're like blocks and you can, they have different, you can go up to like 100 pounds. So I was like, hey, you, you working out? Can I join you? And he's like, yeah, come on. So every day he calls me over and we get to work out and it's, it's awesome. That's pretty cool. You would think he was just like a real heavy lifter. Yeah, he doesn't he's lift not. as heavy as you'd think, at least not on the road. He doesn't like to hurt himself, intense. he says. He always uh, yells at me for doing, um, one arm shoulder presses and one arm stuff. He says, you're gonna hurt yourself, you gotta do both at the same time. And I'm like, ah, what do you know, Doyle? Come yeah, on. Look at you. Just, Come on. Yeah, what would you know? You know <laughs> <slob>. <laughs> um, what else do you guys do when you're on the road to kind of like, I mean, I, obviously you're very busy, you do interviews and, and you have to, you know, everybody thinks, oh, well, those guys just sit around, all they have to do is sing at night and play their guitars and stuff. I mean, but there's a lot to do. We've been playing poker. There's a lot to do, yeah. Um, but you do have to kind of, I mean, there is some downtime. What, is, what else do you do? I went, I went spray tanning today. Okay. <laughs> but that's healthy? No, I like, I like to run. I'm not, I don't You're lift. Car I like okay. the lifting to Carla. I'll run if I have time to, or an area to. I like to run. Um, that calms me down, but... Um, I don't know. What well, you guys, I just, like just to do walk, just rest because you know we're playing these shows and it's go 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 all the time and catching up on sleep is probably the probably the most important thing to keep yeah. everyone. You really normal. need a lot you of really energy lot to of do rest, what you know. Yeah. People say, oh, they just go up for forty minutes a night or whatever, but you need all your energy to do those forty minutes. It takes yeah. a lot out of you, especially singing and screaming. Um, I you know I can speak for both of us. It's, it's really hard to run around up there and be able to belt out vocals every night. So hard. And we yeah, want to do so fun things. Our lives are yeah, really so hard. hard. And then we have to lift <laughs> right. that jack bottle. Oh, it's just, yeah. And like, it's, wow, it's, it's better when it's, when it's half full and it's way easier. Yeah, half full. But, yes. yeah, I mean, we all want to do fun things on our off days, but most of the time it's just like, oh, I want to go play, you know, with my iPhone in my bunk. And everyone falls asleep. And, yeah. I, is that what I was they're meaning, calling it nowadays? Playing with my iPhone and my phone. <laughs> we were meaning to go to a haunted house last yeah. night. Yeah. It was only 20 minutes away, but all of us were just like, <laughs> just curl up. Yeah. We just want to get our bones. We were having the time of our life every night, so on off days, yeah. you do want to sleep. <laughs> so you have a haunted house coming up pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Soon. Next the, the, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. So excited. Yep. That's going to be pretty crazy. Yeah. We yeah. just saw some pictures uh, on Instagram and everybody else has been. Oh, yeah. We've been saving up all of our uh, all of our frights, I guess you could say, all of our scares for that. Can't yeah, wait. 
Looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's gonna be great. Cool. Yeah, that's an awesome experience for you guys to have. So I know you can't tell us, you know, who you're going to go out on tour with next. I know it's all so predictive and everything. But I know um, you said you're always writing. Always writing. Yes. And every, you know, one of the things I, I always like to ask people is, you know, now that you have, you know, Goliath out and it's been out there for a little while, not super long and everything, um, is there anything that you regret on the record at all? You're like, now it's been allowed a little bit now. Like the next time I get to go in the studio, yes. yeah, this there's is all, what I want there's, to do. there's definitely all things. There's things you want to fix and wish you could have done different, but that's that will at the, at the always time. happen. That'll always yeah. happen. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Same thing. You let it go. Best, well, like, I think Josh even said he's like the best. He's like, don't think about it that way. He's like, he's like in this moment when you were recording, is like this is how you were feeling, and this is a it's like a picture of how you were at that time. So don't. Think about it afterwards. You know, it's like being in an argument and then going back after and thinking, yeah. I, could, I should have said that. this. And oh, it's like, yeah, no, yeah. What, it, everything's no, fine. But we, we, we took four years writing that yeah. So, you know, we are very happy with it. Mm -hmm. You know, next time around, we've had some discussions here and there. A couple things will change. Um, you know, we've always been a heavy metal band. And we still are. I think um, the, the only element we want to bring back even, is even heavier for the next album. Right. We have a lot of great melodics on this. We want we want to keep that, but we definitely want to keep. You know, we want to get heavier. I guess if that is even, you know, it makes any sonically sense. No, possible. absolutely, and that's. But definitely sonically, we definitely want it to be heavier. And you know, this album though was was the way that we presented ourselves for our debut album. I think it was very yeah. smart, and I think we, yeah. I think we kind of nailed it. I'm, and I'm oh, really yeah. proud of all yeah. of us. This was this isn't something that we wrote in you know six weeks we wrote right. it over four years and so and we've been playing some of these songs for a long time so i'm really proud of what we actually came up with as a group for this album but you know looking forward we definitely want to keep the heavy we don't want to change at all and um and you know by the fourth record we'll probably look back and be like oh man you know <laughs> but sure. who knows sure. who knows I, I, you never know what will happen next month we didn't expect you know a couple months ago we didn't expect to be where we are now so yeah we'll see it's gotta be awesome to kind of look back and be like, "Yeah, how did I get here?" Yeah, yeah. we do. You know? we, sometimes we reflect on that, and it is. It's cool. You know, four years ago when we started this band, you know, Heidi had been working together for like six yeah. years, and we didn't know that we'd be in the situation right now. And four years ago, we started this band just to have fun with our friends and um, you know, write some music, maybe to travel the world, do some cool stuff, and you know, it, we just look at this year alone. It's been incredible. And next year's gonna yeah. be even bigger, and it's just it's. Wow, we're so lucky to be living this life right now because it doesn't happen for everybody. Some even, of my friends are people are, who work their asses yeah, off. It just we've, doesn't. We've got friends who are stellar musicians that have never had the opportunity to do what we're doing now. So we appreciate every second. We don't take anything for granted. That's awesome. Bingo. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see you guys tonight because I wasn't able to see you on May. Oh, yeah. I was doing all the interviews and I'm like, yeah, I get to see you guys yet. tonight. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. This video looks super cool, too. I so. want to yeah. know honestly what you think of. Okay, definitely. Yeah, right. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely, definitely. No, good. So, yeah. No, I'm excited for you to see really it cool. then. Yeah. Yeah. Because we've talked to you a couple times, so it'll be yeah. happy to see it. Yeah, I feel like uh, you know, we're old friends. You know? Talk yeah. to you guys on the phone all the time. Yeah, I like, gave us shirts. Know, yeah. Who was it running around one of those shirts the other day? I think it was you. Which shirt was it? The Pits Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Music Magazine. Yeah. 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 Has the skull on the front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think oh, it was him nice. running the other day. Excellent. Thank you for representing. Absolutely. I'm very good. <laughs> <Three shirt. laughs> well, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, I really man. appreciate Thank it. You. Have an awesome set tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank see you, Alan. Good to see you. Yeah. All right.